Right, everybody, we are uh, in Points Pass County Down on Acton House Farm with uh, none other than uh, Simon and Rory Best. But we're here today to talk about a little system they have on their slurry tanker. But just first and foremost, thanks very much for letting us come out and uh, have, a wee, uh, have a wee look around this. I have to go straight to Rory. How does it feel to be the Grand Slam winner? Ah, oh, look, it, it's great. It's a bit of a dream, really. The last few months since we did it has just flown by, and the amount of people that congratulate you, and um, like, it just shows how special it is to everyone. You know, rugby is something on this island that a lot of people get behind, and uh, it's been a it's been a big factor in my life. And I think too, from an Irish context, to to really reach one of the pinnacles of your career is is something really really special. Well, the question is, and I'm not going to miss mince my words here. Can you do it next year, the uh, World Cup? Look, we'll see. Um, <laughs> we're obviously like, we'll be one of a handful of teams that would have a realistic chance of lifting it. And um, there's a lot of rugby and a lot of work to be done between now and then. But look, I think with the group of players we have, the hard work will not be an issue. So just we we'll need a little bit of luck, and you just got to peak at the right time, and, and we'll see. Well, Simon, I remember now. I worked to I know a firm that supplies a lot of uh, material onto this farm like oats and sprays uh, Joseph Morton Limited so I actually remember back in my times when you stepped back from the the rugby team I'm just trying to remember exactly when that was even myself I can't just remember but it's a good few years now it's a good few years ago now it's uh, about 2007 do you miss it uh, like you always miss it you miss you miss the big occasions I suppose you miss um, you know when the team is successful like that and, and, and you know where he's lifted the trophies um, over the last couple of years, you know, you'd love to be part of that. But I think the first few years was probably harder than now because you know all, all your old mates have retired long ago, and you know you can't do it anymore. But I think initially, yeah, it was it was, it was tough enough to have to, to have to finish. One of, the, one of the good things was I didn't have to make a decision, which is you know certainly a positive thing. Yeah, in your right. personal situation, it was made for you, isn't that right? That's right it was that's a, right, yeah, yeah. it was an irregular heartbeat or something. That's like it, you, that's yeah, documented. Yeah. So you've tells just you, so well, like. You're now, you're now farming flat out. I mean, if, I, if I've got this right, um, so then, Simon, you came at that time and you very much joined forces with your, your father, John. John is also well known for his, I'll call them blogs and the Farmers Weekly and stuff from years ago. So you've, you've come very much into the forefront of the farm. We're all coming back to the farm, I suppose, eventually. We, we were all part of the farm very much when we were growing up and, and, and our early days, and then rugby sort of got away for a while gives a chance to get away and see something different and I think we're very fortunate for, for that. You know, when I when I was about to come back to the farm rugby went professional and that opportunity came along so I suppose it gave a give a chance to get that out of the system. Well I suppose one of the reasons um, and you, you two guys have uh, met with us here today is we just wanted to we touch on it's very important and, and we're in a we're in a very challenging time within agriculture and you know with uh, prices and weather and stuff and people rushing it's just uh, we wanted to just touch on the whole health and safety aspect of, of farming and i suppose the best family farm is very much uh, an advocator of uh, health and safety and trying to promote it as much as possible yeah i think we've we've tried to to be I suppose to do the thing properly and do it right and, and tried to i suppose um make sure that we look after everybody who's around the farm be it you know our own kids are around now, be it the men who work for us, people who visit the farm. And I suppose when you look at you know various events that happened over the last number of years, uh, it probably brought it very much into the into the spotlight. And unfortunately, you know, um, with with events uh, that happened on the Spence farm, which hit the rugby community very hard at the time. So um, I think you know when when that happened, uh, it sort of spurred us, I suppose, both into action to, to, to try and do as much as we can to promote health and safety. You're never, you're never finished, I suppose, in terms of safety. No, I agree. I mean, it's, a, it's an active farm. You have you've, you've tractors, you know, you have tankers, trailers, you have machines working all the time. It's, it's, it's very, very difficult as, to, to make it absolutely 100%. But one of the things that you have done, and, and it's just on this tanker here, and I suppose that's what we wanted to look at today. What, one of the biggest, I suppose, problems I'll call it or whatever you want to go or one of the biggest in uh, incidents of injuries is coming from PTO shafts and this is the safe shaft system fitted to this tanker of yours and uh, well I think the main reason you put it on was because Rory kept breaking the shaft turning too tight into the field was that is that right or were you just telling me that no <laughs> but you put that on and um, how's it working for you? 
Is it a good job? Uh, look, I think it, it first he came to put that on because um, I'd been at the Danske Bank Farming Awards and Safe Chef won the uh, Innovate, Innovation Award. Um, and then they sort of approached us to see if, if we'd be willing to put it on and you know help promote it a little bit. And I think if the like of this, to have no PTO shaft, and, and like it is obviously, they have all those things like breaking it and, and turning when you're spreading it and, and those little minor things. But more important than that is the safety of it. And, you know, if we can put something like this on and use the profile to raise a bit of awareness around, and if it saves someone an arm or, or a lot more, you know, then it's worth doing. Um, obviously, as you can tell from, from what I've got on, I'm not on the farm every day uh, putting out the slurry, but Simon will probably tell you a little bit more about how it works effectively, but it is really, the safety is really important to, to both of us, and it does come on the wake of obviously Nevin, his brother and his father, and it is important. There's no point having profile if you can't use it in some way to help people, and, and if we can prevent something, it is really, really important to us. Most people understand, obviously, it's, it's an hydraulic pump in the front of the that's using the drive. Is it easy to use? Was it hard to install? Or can you give us a, just a little, a little yeah, bit I mean, it was, about it? Was it was pretty easy to install, actually. Uh, the lads came up, um, arrived up one morning at 8 o'clock. I think they were away again by maybe half 11 or midday. It was, it was really pretty simple. Uh, just removed the, removed the shaft and, and a simple plate in underneath the pump, remounted the pump, and it all runs through the, through the spool valve. So no real issues you know what that, that that does exactly what it says in the tin i think it's 40 odd liters per minute so i mean really any most tractors old or new can put up that kind of pressure really, i think they probably the thing that attracted tried to meet it certainly is you know somebody who's here day to day and, and you know operating it when i when i can or when i do um slurry tankers when you're filling them you have to be out and around the shaft as it's running yes i think the fact that we have this here there's no running shafts you can be in you can be loading it. You can be you can be moving. Um, you know your suction, your vacuum back and forward within the vicinity of it. So it takes away any concern about, about first of all getting caught in a in a light running piece of machinery. So um, in terms of of how it works, uh, there's plenty plenty of capacity. Uh, you run at very low revs, first of all, which is a, which is a great asset in terms of. Uh, fuel economy, uh, run on the, of the tractor, you're not revving up, you're not in and out, um, trying, to, trying to get your, your, um, you know, your revs right, your PTO right, so I think from that point of view it runs exactly like it would um, running by the shafts, only um, you know, you're, 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 you're running by low revs. Well that's it, I mean, I mean bottom line I suppose when you think about it, one, you're taking away the shaft, two, you're making it easier for the operator, tighter turns and when you are turning around corners and you, you know, you can, you, you don't have to knock off the shaft and restart the shaft, you've still got the pressure and I suppose in today's world a lot of places are awkward, particularly maybe in bigger contractors or whatever they're going in and they're having to knuckle the tractor and that to try and get filled and stuff a lot. Takes all that away, having to be straight, all those issues and the knocking. And, is there any way we could see it here at Runner or something? We could maybe... Maybe get a load in here or something. We'll have to come back sometime and see if Rory really can drive. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I will maybe not do that today. No, just, only because I'm, I'm not wearing, I'm wearing good clothes. You have too Otherwise, good a clothes I would on. jump into well, it, look, no problem. Look, um, you know, from my point of view, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for allowing Grassmen onto your farm and just a little bit to talk a little bit about it. And, you know, at, at some point again, it would be lovely if we could maybe follow up on that. I think, from our point of view, it's very important that. Um, the likes of your guys, you, you have a fantastic profile and you're extremely well known, doing everything for the right reasons and that's who we would like to see our, our fans looking up to, guys like yourselves that know what it, know what it takes to put, put in the effort in and, and return it out and then come back. And Maybe the next time we come back, Rory, you'll have the, the boots on you and the, the boiler <laughs> sitting, huh? Maybe, you'll, yeah. you'll maybe have the boots hung up at that yeah. stage. But. Uh, can, can continued success for yourself, you. Rory, next year as, you, as, as Ireland and you head towards the World Cup. And, and uh, I'm sure you'll likely be there with him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in a while. Get the harvest in uh, early that year. That's all right, I promise. <laughs> but no, thanks very much.